Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. And videos today from Replicant Fish. Women on TikTok asking why men are avoiding dating. It's because of you. Please like and them below. Really appreciate that. Let's get Ciao. Ciao time. Women on TikTok ask men, why are you avoiding dating? Why are you avoiding us? It's weird, isn't it? Strange. It's as if they notice, being the fish that they are, that the pool is getting smaller, more difficult to swim in. Since I have some awesome guys on TikTok right now listening, I'm thinking, may I have your opinion, please? What is it with men these days and not wanting to date? The greed and lust. Yeah, the greed and lust. That's why. Let's let her finish. Do you guys have a fear of commitment? Is it no. the woman these days? Does it have anything to do with spending money on women? Does yes. it have anything to do with trust issues? Sort of. Maybe dating apps? Maybe you yes. feel like there are endless options in terms of significant yeah we feel that for you women because you feel that way and you think see this is the problem women that all women on dating apps have that endless option so they just assume men have the exact same options as them they they, they think that equality is really across the board like that and others it's a bit of all the above it's a bit of everything you yeah. just said with variations obviously but yeah you're pretty spot on woman you spot on what else if it can others Please let me know in the comments. And someone said so many reasons. Depression, cost of living, destroying all men. Too expensive to have one. <laughs> Women being a big time headache, bad experience, scared. Damn. So this guy, obviously, obviously you can tell he's been through. He was listing them off. Yeah, so that's one man's experience. But a lot of men are thinking the same way. It's like, True. what happened? What happened? In recent Our channel, years, bitches. there has been a noticeable trend of men avoiding dating with many okay. choosing to remain single or focus on other aspects of their lives. Mm. This shift can be attributed to a variety of factors, including the rise of dating apps, financial issues, and societal changes, as well as the impact of feminism on traditional gender roles. Damn right. Interesting. So this AI chat GPT saying pretty much everything the woman said, plus adding elements of feminism to it as well. Interesting. We aren't as smart as AI apparently, so... I True. guess you can see what we can't see. But notice the similarities from what the woman said, from what AI is saying, and from what men have been saying for the longest time. It is a trust thing. Many men have been scarred before, but some men don't know if they can trust the modern woman. It's a Not even that. We just don't even, we don't trust the system, let alone the modern woman. Anything, whether he has it or not, does he have enough or not? Can he sustain the amount he has to sustain her enough? Does she only want him for this? Would she leave him if he lost it? Even in dating, the cost of dates alone. You know, many, many things. Going further back before a date, the approach itself. The effort to put the approach in to either get no result, a bad result, or just end up being embarrassed for just trying to be human. One of the most significant factors. Being embarrassed in public by women turns men evil. Contributing to men's avoidance of dating is the proliferation of dating apps and online platforms. While these apps have made it easier than ever to connect with potential partners, they have mm -hmm. also led to a culture of casual hookups and superficial relationships. Superficial again. It's AI loves using the word superficial, but I guess it is. But fun though, isn't it? Fun, isn't it? In a world of instant highs, fast food, fast everything, fast content, easily digestible and just quick, low attention span, low attention span thinking, low attention feeling it's like everyone has adhd especially in dating especially in dating it's true i'm surprised you guys are able to watch a lot of my videos like the 25 30 minute videos good on you guys for not fucking having short attention spans and actually wanting to, to get the information i do admit my average viewing is usually half of my video but it makes sense the average of everybody that watches some people watch a second of it some people watch the whole thing so is it not real anymore because it's so easy for someone else to get your attention yeah and then possibly get you into their bed or you get them into yours whatever whatever it's superficial fun isn't it many men feel overwhelmed by the sheer number of options available to them leading to a sense of choice paralysis and an inability to commit to one person that's a bullshit on that one men interesting financial issues also play a role in men's decision to avoid dating in today's economy many men are dealing with stagnant wages rising living costs and mounting student loan debt mm. as a result they may feel hesitant to enter into a relationship that could potentially strain their finances even further 
Yeah. Additionally, the pressure to be a provider and support a family can be a daunting prospect for men who are struggling to make ends meet. Societal changes have also had an impact on men's attitudes towards dating. But that in itself is powerful for men, isn't it? The provider perspective. Because yeah. many men want to be, naturally a lot of men want to be. But a simple question that a lot of people just avoid nowadays and don't think men think about this stuff is, can a man even afford to have a family? Can he? Can he afford it? You see, whereas many insults exist for men, oh, men are doing this. I'm going to push back on this. Most men can afford to have families. It's just the women and the lifestyle that everybody has nowadays does not fit it in properly. But people can have families with 30, 40K, you know, 60K salaries, especially when you have two incomes at 40, 50K salaries. It's, it's not unreasonable. Just people don't want to give up their lifestyle. These men are avoiding dating for this and that reason. A simple question that these people don't ask themselves is, can he even afford to do so? To date, let alone afford a family? Can he afford a wife? <laughs> a wedding ring? A marriage? For flip's sake. All of that's expensive. And even if the money were not an issue, a lot of men are too used to being used nowadays. Too many men have felt and been burnt by a woman who was just using him. Just using him. So to have the money or not, is still a sense of... Is it even me or the money? And we know the answer, don't we? With the rise of gender equality and the breakdown of traditional gender roles, many men are unsure of their place in modern relationships. Interesting. The empowerment of women through feminism has led to a shift in power dynamics, with some mm. men feeling marginalized or emasculated in romantic situations. Interesting. This can make it difficult sort of. for men to navigate the complexities of dating and relationships. Furthermore, both men and women are feeling increasingly lonely in today's fast-paced, technology-driven society. Wow. Look at AI dropping bars, damn. And a very poignant image it shows as well. Okay, all right, AI. Some flowers on a lake, just seeming abandoned. What, what, what is it, a metaphor for modern dating? An abandoned, decayed bouquet of flowers in a technology... Women in dead in water driven society damn i'm tired of using technology but are we are we it's interesting how as human beings you know we're diving further and further into into more technology it's like we want more of it even if we can see how you know destructive it is some don't True. care some would prefer their media their games their movies even their social media their tiktok they'd prefer that over another human being over real flesh and blood connection Hey, my brother's like that. A lot of men are like this now. Men rather just play video games and connect through the internet. My brother just plays video games all day when he's home and he plays with his friends. They all meet in whatever game lobby they play. I don't fucking know. But, like, I, I wish he would, you know, pursue more in life. But he doesn't really want much out of life anyways. It's hard to push, you know, you can't lead a horse to water and force them to drink, right? He has to want to do these things himself. And I see most men just like him. They don't want to do that shit anymore. They want to live just a normal, basic, take care of themselves life. Transhumanism. I've been saying that for a while and how obvious it is that we're not fully there yet. We're not fully cyberpunk yet intertwined with machines. It's, like it's interesting how lost human beings are to it. To the point where less and less human beings are actually having a physical connection. And a lot of times they are. It's probably just for a, for a hookup. Quick something thing. quick and fun and fast. Uncaring and emotionless. Damn. Even an AI can see it. But as human beings, we feel it, don't we? Furthermore, both men and women are feeling increasingly lonely in today's fast-paced, technology-driven society. Despite having more ways to connect with others than ever before, Many people are struggling to form meaningful relationships and find lasting companionship. Interesting. Have a look at this before we let the machine finish. You will repel men, repel men who are not ready for you. And okay. this is a good thing. Here's why. why. If you've ever been talking to someone mm -hmm. and then you go on a couple of dates, you hang out, everything's great. And then all of a sudden they pull away. This mm -hmm. might be why. If why? you have your ish together, a good mm -hmm. job you got a good head on your shoulders you take care of yourself Men you mean the basics mentally emotionally spiritually physically you got it going on and maybe you fall into the category of i can't understand why you're still single why this may be why 
Okay, we get her point. Like AI just said, the changing gender dynamics, the strong, independent, modern woman. Obviously, she's saying she has her life together. Most mm. men she meets feel emasculated because it's a sense of what can you do for me as a man? I have everything myself as a woman. And yes, again, but this is the point, isn't it? I mean, she herself is making the point. You can see and hear her passive aggressiveness. Yeah. Like, yeah, I am that woman. I am that bee, of course. I worked hard to get here. Indeed, she did. Now, beyond men feeling emasculated, feeling like little boys, oh, it's a big, it's a big girl, oh, it's a, it's a big woman. <laughs> beyond, beyond men feeling emasculated, it's the attitude that comes with this sort of woman, the aura. It being a big word nowadays, the aura of the woman. It's a bit. Uh, you don't want to call her a B word, but it's like. Uh, mm. I'll uh, say it. Bitch. Come on, come on. Again, for the millionth time, nothing wrong with a woman having her life together and everything. But it seems like it's so new to them that all they do is show off about that. Yes. And that's it. No substance, just a qualified, degreed up woman. Big money, big house, big car, big job. And But what about you, woman? I can't hug all of that. Big hole. Want to. People, this may be why. If a why? man approaches you to get to know you, mm. he's doing this with minimal information, right? right. Then he no collects shit. the information. And okay. he maybe saw you here, and now he's realizing that you are way up here i think it's more of the he saw you here and then he realized you're way down here <laughs> and he might be here sure. and this is too far to jump you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying and this is why it's a good thing because when you enter the relationship you're still here he's still here this is gonna be what constantly tugs on your heart he's not ready he hasn't done the work he hasn't gotten himself to the level where he feels like he can provide for you because how is he supposed to provide for you when you're up here this doesn't mean that you come down here this just means that he's not ready this is just more fucking feminist mumbo jumbo bullshit to not settle just might as well just say don't settle for less once you're at a certain level just like every other feminist that say it now you're using this level thing you gotta come down to them shut the fuck up and so in essence when this happens it is a good thing because then you don't need to go through the heartbreak of trying to close that gap and think for a second how many of those gaps exist a lot of them and how many women think like her a lot now this is not an excuse for women to date dusties i'm talking about men who are actually financially stable but they're just not as stable as some women mm. that simple fact alone because a lot of women don't want to date down financially if the man's working as well, if he's broke, strangely enough, they'll move him in. <laughs> but the point is, because a lot of women don't want to do that, this would cause a lot of women to forever be single. Hence, cat ladies, fancy cat ladies, fancy. rich cat ladies, rich aunties. All right, guys, we need to start inventing some fancy toys and fancy things for these cat ladies. I'm talking about fancy. We're talking about like 500 four hundred dollars toys that i don't even know what these toys are gonna do as long as they're fancy looking and make these women feel like they're they're, they're pampering their cats in some way we can do it i'm not a toy maker or anything maybe you guys are toy makers you let me know and i'll invest in your toy i'm serious cat toys boys a lot of them so everything she's saying makes sense Again, you can see from her attitude, she's like sort of gloating like, yeah, I'm up here. Little boy, you're down here. Little boy. <laughs> Little boy. Yeah, you can see she's somewhat gloated. But the point is, simple point, this is why a lot of women will end up being single. Even if it's nothing bad on men, men aren't even doing anything bad to her. Women like this count themselves out because of the way they go on. Their attitude, their demeanor, their aura. Yeah aura are most men are little boys to her aren't they that will inevitably not work mm. now there's a difference between this and the anxious attachment giving off clingy relationship vibes with minimal information basically love bombing your own mind to acting like you're in a relationship before you mean be delusional <laughs> delusion it's okay it's called delusion or you love all the bombing your own mind at that point right which can also right. repel a man because i feel like there's so many i was just talking to some girls at church church about this there's oh, so many church girl hmm has she always been Amazing. so or did she have a somewhat spicy past 
And now she's an independent woman, church girl, independent woman, a sister. Dude, this is the modern woman playbook. Get ran through in your 20s and find God and church in your 30s. And then you'll be saved. <laughs> yeah. Did you have a bad past trying to cover it up? I'm just saying, asking. Amazing mm -hmm. women out there. Mm. And it's always like, why is she still single? Why is she still single? This is why. Why? why? This is why. Why? But let me tell you, I have so much faith. I have, I, I am overwhelmingly faithful that God is going to deliver. And mm. the reason that it hasn't happened yet is because the man that you and I are going to end up with. You know, sometimes I wonder if more men should be as, you know, faithful as women to ask God to send them, you know, send me a woman. <laughs> Yo, God, send me a woman, you know? You're, dude, I think Fish is honest. I don't think we've ever had many men like, oh, God, bring me a woman. You know, I deserve a woman. <laughs> I've noticed how it's, it's more women that do that than men. Right. Or maybe it's more women openly do that than men do. The whole God, send me a man thing. Women will say that. But how many men openly say, God, send me a woman? Do men even say that? Do you say that? Comment if you've ever said that. I want to see it. And did it work? Yeah, did it work? Are you married? <laughs> is gonna be, hold on, come on. The man that you and I are gonna end up with is gonna be here. He's gonna lead us, so wow. we're both there. You wow. Love you. This sense of isolation can be particularly difficult for men who may feel pressure to suppress their emotions and maintain a facade of stoicism. Interesting. In conclusion, there are a multitude of reasons why men are avoiding dating in today's society. From the influence of dating apps and financial concerns to changing gender dynamics and widespread loneliness, men are facing a complex array of challenges when it comes to forming romantic relationships. It is important for society to acknowledge these issues and work towards creating a more inclusive and supportive environment for all individuals seeking companionship. Okay, it's two women. All right, all right, chat GPT. Okay. Yeah, I was like, mm. The point is, look at how all of that information was delivered without an air of misogyny or patriarchy, yeah? You see, when a machine does it, no one would find an issue, would they? But when a man does it, a man, a flesh and blood man, oh, oh, it's terrible, isn't it? It's horrible. Can't win, can you? We're this just is evil. why some women are dating women. The waiting is so hard, but it's honestly the best part. Like, because mm. then you can look back and look at you know, when you have your promise or when you have what you've been waiting for, you can look back and like see all the growth. Like, mm, yeah. it's almost like you can also thank God for not giving it to you sooner. I went through the waiting period, you know, um, before my um, fiance came along. I was like, yeah. I'm in my singleness. Oh, I need, I mean, when is this gonna end? I realized like now looking back that if I would have received what I was waiting for too soon, I would have ruined it. Interesting point. Are some women just not ready anyway to receive a decent man? Too busy having too much fun, yeah? The weird thing a lot of women do is assume that when they reach a certain age, a man is going to be waiting or men are going to be waiting to court her. They really believe that God has like men lined up in a chamber, like a big masculine chamber, a big masculine gun, ready to shoot good men at her for her to pick and choose from. That's not reality. That'd be a weird reality. That's like Black Mirror level. <laughs> that is like Black Every Mirror. woman won't be lucky like her to wait and pray to God for a man. They won't all be lucky like her. A lot will end up, you know, with nothing but a cat. She wished for a man, prayed for a man. God said, man, a cat will do. Soon, I would have ruined it. Yeah. I wasn't sure. in the right place to receive it. Mm -hmm. I had to go through like the refinement period, like the waiting period where I just was totally like putting all my faith in the Lord and like putting it all in his hands and then throwing mine up. I mean, like, okay, like, I'll just wait because I know, like, your ways are better. Mm -hmm. And I had to go through that and grow to, like, get to the point where I was like, okay, God gives it to me. He blesses me with it. But if he would have given it to me too soon, I would have ruined it. Having opinions as a man is very difficult because anything you say that doesn't align up with what people see as normal will always be a reason to insult. But facts are facts. Men know what they know and are cautious because of what they know. Have. Men are so much better than women in learning their lessons and learning what's going on in, in their life. Because we've gone through enough, we have to absorb it. If we don't, we're going to fucking fail miserably. But women, they really don't have a clue. They don't know any of that stuff. They've never 
<laughs> Please leave your down below. I really appreciate that. And catch you guys next time. Ciao.